So we're going to be focusing on four things when it comes to our growth of Instagram. The first one is value content. The second one's engagement. The third one is connection. And the fourth one is consistency. Now, let's go with the first one. Value content. What is value content? I know you hear this all the time. I say this, provide value, provide value, provide value. So what exactly is it? Value content is basically content that your audience, that your ideal client, that your ideal person, team member is going to benefit from whether they buy from you or not. Whether they buy anything from you or they join your team, the content that you're putting out on your page is something that they can take away, that they can be like, oh my God, I could implement this right away and get some sort of result. That is value content. Now you can divide value content into three or a couple of different pillars, I should say. So value content can be educational content. So these are your tips. These are your hacks. These are your what I'm doing right now, this live training. That's value content. This graphic right here, I could post this graphic tomorrow on my Instagram and that's value content because you can get something out of it. You could, you know, whether you buy one of my programs, you join anything of mine, like you could still jump into this training and receive so much value. That's what I want you to do for your audience and for your specific niche. I want you to be providing valuable content. So these are tips, hacks, um, step-by-step tutorials of anything that you know that your audience wants to know so that is the first part so it's educational content it's also connection content another piece that i see missed is connection content that this is more of storytelling this is more of you showing more of your personal side to connect with your audience so besides always having tips and tricks and all these things you also need to have connection content where people are going to get to know you more where they're going to be like like this is what's going to connect you with them and they're gonna they're gonna want to follow you more they're gonna be like oh my god i relate to her you need to be relatable we all know that for for us to build a team for us to get customers for people to say yes to us they need to know like and trust us they need to know like and trust us if they don't know us they're not gonna buy from us if they don't like us they're not gonna buy from us if they don't trust us they're not gonna buy from us Simple as that. How do you build that know, like, and trust? Well, the know is with your connection content. They're going to get to know you, who you are, what you like, what are the things that you do in your spare time. All those things are connection content. <clears throat> they're going to like you on your storytelling connection content as well. And they're going to trust you based on the tips you give and all that. So it all goes hand in hand. And then the other piece of con- content that you should be creating is is also perspective content. So perspective content is content that is going to shift your your audience's perspective. You know, a lot of people either, you know, if you're in network marketing, a lot of people think, and I had this question on yesterday's live, was like, what do you do if people are just not into MLMs or like have something against MLMs? You know, you that that right there is a piece of content of you educating people on the reality of network marketing, the reality of MLM, like spit out some facts of this amazing industry because so many people have so much a misconception of the industry because they heard it from someone or something happened. Like, But in reality, it's just what they heard and it's not truth. So you, with your content, you need to go and show and show them and talk about through your stories, on your content, on a live, all about this industry that most of you are in because I know a lot of you follow me that are in network marketing. But that was just an example. Shift someone's perspective. The same could go with products. Let's say that you, um, you're you in health and, and wellness. This is a topic I know well. You're in health and wellness and maybe someone thinks that they need to spend hours of cardio or they need to you know, or it's going to be very expensive. Like you need to shift that perspective and talk about these things. So those are your different types of content to to be posting about, to be talking about in your stories. And we're focusing on this training on growing. 
Now, how do you grow is through that because if people are liking your content, they're going to be sharing it out. They're going to be putting it on their stories. They're going to be saving it. And that helps the algorithm know, hey, people are liking this. Let's show it to more people. That's simply how it works. Another thing that you should be doing with your content is reels. And that's something that you need to like you need to be doing. If you're not doing it, if you've been avoiding it, girl, stop. <laughs> or guy. I have some some guys here. But you need to stop and you need to get on reels. Like it's not that hard. Like even go and look through the reels that are already out there and see that like people most of the time they're just pointing. They're just pointing at things and giving value, like we said. But it's not crazy. It's not about dancing. It's not about singing. It's not about anything crazy. Like a lot of people don't want to do reels because they don't want to show up on, on camera. But how do you expect to build your business and build your brand if you're not showing up on camera? So that's another way that you can with content. And again, in reels, you can do these three types of content. You can educate, you can connect with people, and you can change their perspective as well. But use Reels because right now, the Reels is what's hot. And you got to go with it. You got to go with it. If not, you're going to be stuck. Um, let's see. All the Reels I do from your 21 day get the most engagement. Yes, the 21 day challenge. Guys, should I bring that back? I should bring it back. Um, but yes. So that's we're done with valuable content. So make sure that today, today before you go to sleep, I want to challenge you to post to post another post. I don't care if you post it again today. Post again and give value. And I want you to ask yourself while you're creating this post, like what is the takeaway that my audience is getting? What are they getting from this post? Because that is key, guys. The second way to grow on Instagram is through engagement. So a lot of you missed this piece as well. And I talked about engagement on yesterday's live as well. Because so many of you want engagement. Oh my God, I, I want like people commenting on my post. No one comments on my post. No one, when I put like question stickers, no one replies. But are you going out of your way and doing this for others? Are you commenting on people's posts, on your followers' posts? Are you interacting with their stories? You know, the more back and forth dialogue, the better. You need to be engaging. That, engaging. that means following liking commenting that's all engagement i do my engagement in 20 minutes and i put a timer because if not i could be on instagram for life but i put a timer for 20 minutes and i engage so definitely engagement increases growth because the more you have a dialogue with other people the more you you know you have engagement and relationships building relationships is important the more that instagram is going to show your content to other people <clears throat> and you're going to build those relationships you can't just be posting and then not building relationships because that's not going to do anything the third one yes always awesome the third one is connection so you need to build connection to grow on instagram if people don't like I said, if people are not connecting with you or not relating to you, if they're not like they don't know anything about you, they're not going to buy from you. So you need connection in order for you to grow. And how do you do connection? Stories. Stories are your best friend when it comes to connection. You need to be showing up on stories, talking on your stories. I still, guys, there's a lot of you that I follow that have taken some of my programs and I still don't see you on stories. I still don't see you showing up in your face, like with your face, talking like I am right now. And I'm like, why, how? Like I know, again, I know you guys have a full-time job. You know, it's, it, gets, it gets stressful, it gets in the way, but you need to make it a priority. And one of the tips that I can give you is if you don't have time because you have your full-time job, you go to your job and then nothing happens, like, you don't get on. You just post pictures and boomerangs and before and afters and all of that. Like, make your stories in the morning. This is what I used to do when I worked a full-time job. I would wake up early. I'll do, you know, my morning stories, obviously. And then I would record stories for later of me talking, of me giving value, of me giving tips, of me doing mini trainings. And then I would post it in the middle of the day. I would post it at lunchtime. 
I already have it. I don't have to show my face anymore. Probably in the ca- I was in the cafeteria and I was just posting my stories <clears throat> that I had recorded in the morning. So do that. If that is something that is stopping you right now because you're like, oh, I work, you know, I go to work and then I don't have any time whatsoever. I'm pretty sure all of you go to the bathroom. So in your little bathroom break, post the stories that you have saved that you did that morning. Where again, you're giving value. Make sure those are you giving value because I'm pretty sure you guys, you know, you post your morning routine, you post your morning things at the time that you're doing it and then you go to work and I don't hear from you ever again or you just post pictures but if you could post pictures throughout your day of working you can post a pre-recorded video of you so that's a little tip for you guys and then the next thing for connection that I have for you guys that you're probably not gonna like and you're like probably you avoid it as much as possible is going live like I am right now Guys, going live is key for your growth on Instagram as well. Not only does everybody that follows you get a notification that you're going live, which that already gives people like, oh, let me see what she's doing. If you need notes, have your notes. Yesterday I had notes and I was um, reading off of my laptop. Or sometimes you could create a graphic and put it on your live for you and your audience to be on track on each point. It, that that's as simple as that and the, the easiest types of lives you can do is when you teach something or when you're telling your story you know of how you started your business or your journey I mean that's something that you know so why not tell it you know you can't mess up there right but like it, these are the things that are going to help you grow your business so these are the things that you should be practicing and getting outside of your comfort zone and we all know you guys probably heard this obviously but nothing grows in your comfort zone your comfort zone is meant to keep you there, stuck, and wherever you are right now. If you want to go above and beyond wherever you are right now, then you need to do things a lot differently. And most of the time, is getting out of the, our comfort zone. So we went over connections. So with connections, again, let me say it again, is stories and lives. And both of those things are going to help you grow. Mostly, if you want to grow new followers, it's, it's mostly lives because stories is more for connection building. <clears throat> and the last one I have for you is, of course, one that a lot of you, it's a struggle. Consistency. And consistency, I know it's easier said than done, guys, right? But if you have a plan, you can stick to that. And that would create consistency for you in your business. The plan, like... A, a simple plan of even creating your a content plan today that we're in the first right yeah today is the first the first of the month you should already have a content plan for the whole february and for those of you who are inside insta boss society my membership you guys got your content plan i create their content plan for them excuse me but you need a content plan how many days how many days a week can you actually commit to posting Given all the circumstances, given that you're a mom, given that, you know, you work a full-time job, how many times consistently can you post a week? So you say three. Great. Now, what is my goal this month? What do I want to achieve? Do I want more customers? Do I want more team members? If you're in network marketing, you have to ask yourself that. Oh, okay, I want I want both obviously. Maybe that's that's I I would love for you guys to focus this month on recruiting. That's why I have the 30 recruiting reels. <clears throat> because I think that's something so important. But let's say your goal is both. I want customers and I want team members. Okay. So what are you doing in your content that is going to get you both? All right, perfect. So let me show you guys. So you decide, well, let's say you decide to to who, oh, I could only post three days out of this week because that's that's what it allows me, you know, with my busy schedule. I'm a busy mom. Three days out of the week. Okay, so we got your three days. Then it's like, I want you to ask yourself, what's your goal this month? You want to get team members? You want to get customers? I want to get, let's say, I want to get 10 customers and 10 team members. That's my goal. Perfect. <clears throat> so what do you what what are you going to be posting about to get these 10 customers and 10 team members? 
right? Because we want to attract them. So what are, you, what are you posting about? What are you talking about every day on your stories? So set yourself a schedule. Like, okay, mon so let's say you only could post three days and you decide to post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that's what I'm going to do. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then Monday, I'm posting. You read my mind. So Monday, Monday, I'm posting about products. Wednesday, I'm posting about the business. And then Friday, I'm posting about products again. Let's say if I'm more focused on getting products. <clears throat> so be products, business, products. And now you can create your content. And again, it goes into like, which I'm not going to get into because it's a, it would be a longer training and that's more advanced for maybe like my InstaBoss Society members. But like you have to go into your what type of content? Educational. We talked about here, educational, connection, and you could eat, we talked about three, you could even put them in three. So I don't know why I'm writing this if I'm not even showing you guys. But <laughs> so Monday, it could be about the products and it could be a connection post. And it could be you literally talking about how you started your journey with these products. Tuesday, it's a business post and it could be a business post. It could be another connection post. It could be a perspective post. So maybe it's perspective and you're talking about how people have such a bad stigma on network marketing, MLM, or whatever business you're in. And you could talk about that because that's going to let people change their perspective, the people that are watching you. And then Friday, you could talk about the products again and you could do uh, tips. So you could do something that is going to help, not necessarily like talking about your products, but you can give tips on, let's say, again, if you're in health and wellness, you give tips on losing weight or how to feel less bloated, you know, and you give these tips, not, again, you're not selling your products here, but you're giving these tips, but at the end, you could always do a call to action where you tell people, hey, if you want, like, you know, specific products for bloating, you could get these, or message me, and I'll, and I'll recommend you some products, like, it's as simple as that, but right there, you already are targeting, in that week, you're getting products, and you're getting your business in people's eyes, and you can, from those posts, you can also go in your stories and talk about the same thing. Because not people that, people that look at your stories might not be looking at your posts and people that look at your posts may not look at your stories. But it's as simple as that. But it starts with you having a goal in mind of what you want to achieve that month and then breaking it down into how many days you can post. And then from there, creating your content and then sticking to it. And if you need consistency even more, you could spend like one hour, one to two hours on a Sunday and plan out all your content for the entire month. So you know that when Monday comes and you're busy at work and like things are going crazy at work, you're going to, you already have a content to post. You're not there like, oh my God, what should I post? Oh wait, let me, let me do my, like, no, <laughs> let me do a post like this and then post it and that's it. So that was my little rant for consistency. Consistency is key, guys. People need to see on stories. People need to see your posts every day. It takes 24 times, 24 times now? Yeah, 24 times for someone to see your stuff enough for them to be like, you know what? I want to buy it. Tell me if that's not true, guys. Like you guys see you know, ads on your, on Instagram now. And like, at first you're probably like, nah, nah, you see it often enough and then you want it. The same thing goes with your content and with your followers. They need to see things often. So you need to be showing up consistently. And it also, consistency also helps your credibility. If I am looking at you and I see you post one day, one stuff, and then the next day you, you're completely MIA. I don't see you again for another week. You know, because that week you were feeling awful, you know, <laughs> things shit hit the fan. I'm, I'm going to feel like, okay, this person's not serious about her business. Let me not go with her. So that's why consistency is also very important. So those are the four things that I want to talk to you guys about today for your growth on Instagram.